Good morning and welcome to Kusadasi Turkey. If you are new here, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video and leave me comments down below if you have any questions. This was overall a pretty efficient port area. If you have a pre-assigned tour like we did, we did a private VIP tour. It's gonna be on this board right outside of the port. I highly recommend a private tour. Like I said, I'm gonna be linking ours down below. But meet our guide, Melis. Uh, Welcome to Kush Adası. <laughs> Kush means bird and Adası is the island. Ah. So actually it's Adası, Kush Adası. Bird Island. So welcome to the Bird Island. Oh, if you cannot say Kusha the Sea, you can just say Bird Island. <laughs> we left the port area and headed to the House of the Blessed Virgin that is right by Ephesus. It was an absolutely beautiful drive. The terrain was very different once you get outside the coastal area. This drive can be anywhere from about 20 to 30 minutes. Down here. Wow. This is a little after eight and she said this is nothing. I highly recommend getting here early in the morning just like what was previously mentioned. There is a place to eat and get a snack and souvenirs here by the House of the Blessed Virgin. Um, keep in mind this is where the uh, Ascension or Assumption part of me took place if you are very religious. so. You're not allowed to record in the House of the Blessed Virgin. Like I said, we got here right after opening and there was a decent little line. It didn't take long, maybe about 15 minutes to get in. There is no camera or recording allowed inside the home. You'll see prayers that are tied up here on the outside. This is a very special place to people. So just mind, you know, being respectful and really take it all in. Because even if you're not religious, it's truly just incredible. After this, we headed down to Ephesus. Now, I will tell you, if you are doing Ephesus during the summer months especially, it is hot. Right outside, there are places where you can buy a hat, buy a snack, buy bottled water. Definitely bring some water in with you. This was a cooler day, and cooler day meant early, um, low 90s. <laughs> so it was still very hot. Highly recommended umbrella. Um, one of my friends actually recommended that and I'm very glad that we had them because this literally felt like the hottest place on earth. One of the perks of having your own guide is you can take it at your own pace. We got to a point at one point during this day where we were just kind of done walking around Ephesus. It was incredible and it was amazing, but it truly felt like the hottest place on earth. Like it felt even cooler just outside of the doorways but these ruins are incredible one of my friends and i were actually discussing this place we've both been here and the ruins are actually more intact here than many places in greece melissa did a great job of explaining the different parts of history to us letting us go at our own pace now if you come right up here this is actually a great vantage lookout point for photos so keep that in mind when you go Olivia had a great time just seeing these things that are, you know, thousands of years old. It's just, it's truly incredible. Make sure you let me know in the comments section if you've been here or if you're looking to go here. If you'd like to save money on travel, check out my free travel savings guide down below. And don't forget, we can help you book your next trip too. After this, we decided to head back with Melissa because she brought up that there was a new Ephesus Museum that was open. Now you can see the difference in the amount of people lined up here before we went down there. So I will also make a note that Ephesus itself is not very accessible for those that have mobility issues. If you want to learn about Ephesus and also in a much cooler environment, the museum is fantastic. It maybe cost us about seven or eight dollars per person with the exchange. And I honestly say I really enjoyed this out of a bunch of the museums I did see throughout our trip. Um, the sculptures were incredible. The artifacts were great. I just I, I can't say enough nice things about this place. And I really hope that you give this a try because it is new. Now keep in mind if you have little ones with you. There is some very vivid artwork, as you can see here in this case. Olivia was definitely not a fan of this piece of art over here, but I mean, it is what it is. It's history. 
It was crazy to see all the different coins, the jewelry, and learning about the different deities and gods and just how much is intertwined here in Ephesus. Like I didn't even realize how much religious culture tied back here and how deities were framed throughout the different religions kind of based out of here, which was incredible. This is a great facility. They do have restrooms here. They have lockers where you can store your bags if you'd like. There's also a little gift shop. So highly recommend checking this out. I'll add a link down below. And after this, Melissa took us to ceramics. I'm sorry for my English. I talk a little, but I will try what we do again. <laughs> it was so cool to see how ceramics were made. This guy was making a top and a jar. Olivia really enjoyed this. I didn't realize it was made out of like a quartz stone. Yeah, we work with white clay, but we put in the white clay parts from the mixed and we uh, mix with white clay, we grind it. And we give the fall for our clay. No, no, no. This is a family-run shop. I'm going to link it down below. I highly recommend buying here. Let's see. Ah. Oh. Yes, bravo. With just water base, is a lapis lazuli. See on the blue part, you can see points, points, points. Wow. I will say compared to prices in Istanbul, get your ceramics in Ephesus or Kusadasi from a local shop. The prices were better. Oh wow. Oh wow. These are your These are special pieces with moonstone. Moonstone? Yeah. Oh wow. On the glaze they put moonstone. Oh, that's so cool. And I actually think overall that this place had the best designs out of all the ceramic shops that we saw at our different stops in Turkey. So if you're going to get it, please check out this place. It was great. We loved Melissa's recommendation. After this, it was definitely time to eat. Our guide took us to one of her favorite restaurants and the food was absolutely incredible. Perfect. Definitely love these chickpea patties, the roasted vegetables. Now typically I don't like the grape leaf style dish, but Olivia and I actually ended up loving it. It was so good. The roasted meats were great. We just had a great time. Well, that's going to do it for here in Kusadasi, Turkey. I hope you guys like these recommendations. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe down below. Bye!